What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing good tonight. I am. I made it over here close where I got to pick up that morning. Go load this empty trailer full of uh, backhoes. Well, two of them. It's all that'll fit along here. But uh, anyway, I wanted to come on here for just a second and let you guys know some breaking news. Uh, Garantano tested positive. Fresh army green paint, mud caked on the headrest. I'm the rooster no need for career boosters. I'll be blowing up a rest of professional skin floaters. Got a degree in winning, so I'm unable to be a loser. Hip hop is my drug, bitch. I'm an air day user. Woo! Rick Flair with them nose hairs and enough. Copy killer, hibernating grizzly bear sleeping on me. So it's only fair I jump up in your nightmare like Freddy Krueger. Ain't working 10 years. I'm in the head now. All they see is a guy in a snow, but that's me driving. Who the fuck's called now? I made the south have a north pole, pal. I can get so dark the sun will be scared to pop. That owe me beers And you gonna give it to me I ain't even saying cheers I ain't even saying thanks I ain't even taking one drink I'll dump it on the ground And tell the bartender you bought it Then says kick you When you're not singing the esophagus Then invite you to a hip hop party Around six At the corner of second Never knew where I suck a dick If you still sleeping on me Won't you grab a tip Just make sure it ain't a trick Trying to boost your income, kid Don't fucking fire me Unless you wanna get cremated For making me masturbate While you hang with your ex, baby Let's be honest I'm still a top doggy dog And then I'm hungry And I hardly tired of harsh mark And you ain't got a song That's independently chart topping you Garrett Toto tested positive for not being able to play fucking quarterback. And I made a statement about it, a video about it, and a lot of people were saying, you know, because I was talking about Jerry, Jeremy Pruitt. But I still think he's a good coach. I think that uh, he'll be great one day. I do. I believe that. It's all my heart. But I think a few of you took it out of context, and you didn't get what I was saying. I said, he's got to pull the trigger on J.G., I think the Kentucky game would have been been a good game to maybe put Bailey in and see what he could do, get him some reps. But apparently, he's not even been getting reps in practice. The only one that's been getting reps, 90% of the reps, has been Jared Garantano, which, in my opinion, is dumb as hell on, on Pruitt's part because, I mean, this Bama game coming up, what I said was he could be on the hot seat. Some people took that as me saying, you know, because they said they pointed out that last uh, couple weeks ago I said something about him being a great coach, and now I'm putting him on the hot seat. I'm not putting him on the hot seat, but I know, I know the volunteer fan base, and yes, they influence these hiring and firings all the time. We're notorious for that shit. We've had a lot of practice at it because we went through a shit ton of coaches here in the last little bit. What I was saying was if Pruitt continues to put that garbage out on the field, he's not going to have a job very long in Knoxville. That's just the way it is. Um, we've done a lot of this shit to ourselves as the fans, but truth's the truth. Our fan base is I would say very impatient. We want to win at a high level because that's what, you know, a lot of us were used to back in the day. But we're not patient. We're not patient at all. I'm trying to have patience, but when I keep seeing this goofy little fucker with this goofy ass haircut, going, give me that stupid fucking look. Every time he does something fucking retarded, he's lost the team. The team don't want to play for him. They don't. Um, this weekend against Alabama, I think we got to start Mauer. There's no question. We have to put Brian Mauer in the game. JT Shroud has a strong arm, but that's all he's really got. The guy has very little field division. Um, he don't really necessarily stare down one receiver, but he throws the ball. I mean, he's, there's, there's a such thing as being overly confident. Um, he throws the ball into double coverage sometimes. He'll throw the ball in bad areas. He has a strong arm and he can fire the ball all over the field, but not necessarily where it needs to be. So Brian Maurer showed us last year that he has the capability of being great against Georgia. I mean, he done really well. That game didn't get out of hand 
in Knoxville until Brian got knocked out of the game. I think you have to get him reps this week in practice. You have to, and you have to let him have the start. Uh, he's our best option. Uh, I want to see Bailey as much as the next man, but putting him in against Bama, uh, that's a tall order. I just don't think he's ready for a game like that because he's not had any game time situation. Maybe if he'd played against Kentucky, it might be a different story. I know a lot of people are going to say it's just one game. That one game can make a world of difference. You don't want to throw them in against a team like Bama. They'll, they'll eat them alive right now. Um, then again, he may tear them all to hell. But is that a chance we're really willing to take, you know, to have him just come out and completely piss to bed and and lose all confidence? I don't I don't think it's a good idea. I think we gotta go with Brian Bauer. I don't expect us necessarily win this game, but I want to be competitive in this game. It's uh and we're not gonna get there with Jared Garantano, so um I've never been a Garantano fan. I know the first couple weeks of the season I was telling everybody to back off and leave him alone. I said, but I never did say, oh he he's gonna get us there. I said he's not fucked up yet. Well, guess what? He fucked up now, and he fucked up big time. He completely pissed the bed in the second half against Georgia. And he completely shit all over himself against Kentucky. No excuses. None whatsoever to be losing to Kentucky. So, it's been nice knowing you, Garantano, but I hope, I hope we never see you on the fucking field again. That's it, guys. Go Vols.